Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is Jeff 33 with a match between Spudapluk and Aquanim on Tangle Ismus, a map I have not actually shown in a long time. I should probably just go over it briefly. This map is tiny. As you can see, there is an Ismus. I'm not sure why it's tangled, I suppose because of all the combat that goes on in it. This map typically you either see light vehicle slasher rushes, which try to completely destroy the opponent within the first two minutes, or you see hovercraft or amphib in order to go around the sides. As you can see, there is a decent amount of metal in the water, a lot of metal in the main base. I mean, there's a good 20 plus... There's... Okay, not quite 20. There's about 16 metal in the main base. So you can easily get to plus 20, including your commander, in that main base area. And then on the water, there's another... Well, each side has about 9 metal each. No, not 9, sorry. This is... I'm not mathing correctly. 7. 7 metal each. Just in the corners. So it's a bit of a tiny map. You get, you see a fair amount of water combat usually. You see usually stuff along the isthmus. That's mostly what comes up. A bit of stuff in the water, but generally speaking, this particular isthmus is a big deal. As are these tiny paths here. A bit hard to see, but yeah, the paths along the water here, those are really important. So without further ado, let us begin. Svadabluk starting out with, once again, metal extractors. Why always the metal extractors? Okay, there's the Amphib Factory. And a Shield Bot Factory for Aquanim. I forgot about this option, too. Go for early Shield Rush. Not sure why Aquanim's going for this, but this should be interesting. With the Battle Commander, I'm guessing they're going to go for a Thug Commander Rush. While Svadabluk going for the Econ Commander and the Amphibs, they're obviously going to be taking advantage of the water at some point. But they are attacking directly at first with the Scout. Just sending the duck out to see what Aquanim is up to and see that they are going for the Shield Bot Factory. Unless well, it's Convict Felon. That'd be an interesting choice. But the Battle Com leads me to believe it's going to be. It's going to be a rush. Anyway. Aquanim is. That's it. So that's the, that's the scout gone. Aquanim, however, has not scouted themselves. They don't know what's going on in Spadapluk's base. They don't know that right now basically nothing's going on. Spadapluk focusing very much on getting their energy up. So Spadapluk does like their reclaim. Or not the reclaim. They do like their reclaim, yes. But they like their overdrive. As you can see, they're very keen on getting enough overdrive in there. Just to boost their metal production that much more. And trying to produce as little as possible. They can keep pushing as much overdrive as they can. Although at this point, they should have enough energy, they don't need to worry about that. Like, one or two more solar plants, and they'll be able to push... Oh, wait, no, on top of that, yeah, it's Amphib bots plus 7.5. Or minus 7.5, rather. And an early scallop, too. Makes a lot of sense, given that there are going to be raiders coming in. The scallop is exactly what they need. But at the same time, the convicts are going to shield that, which the scallop does deal with. They're probably the best option that Amphib has for dealing with that. Mid... Mid-map Lotus we see being built up. Which should help deal with the scallop... And, indeed, with the shielding, it actually does. The scout forced to retreat, losing almost half of its health as a result of that. The lower half of its health, actually. So, Akinem in a really interesting spot right now. They are... Yeah, they're doing fine. Well, Akinem sets that up. Spiderplex setting up defenses of their own. Setting up a bit more economy as well, because right now, Akinem is going all in. They haven't built any more economy than these first three metal extractors. The commander's up front. Like I said, there's a calm rush. It is a rocket launcher commander. Which makes a lot of sense to deal with things like scallops. And another scallop... Well, the same scallop coming in. And Aquanim's commander able to very... Oh! Between that and the Lotus, that scallop goes down. That's the end of that one scallop. The second scallop coming up. But Aquanim continues to push in pretty hard. And another scallop is going to be a bit of a problem. Two... Or, scallop and duck. But that, was, that rocket launcher's got no problems dealing with the duck. It's a very interesting choice. Svadapluk at this point cannot harass around the side. They can't just go around the side and try to harass around the back. They need everything at home to deal with this. They're barely holding on as it is. The boys will help out quite a lot just with their health and their range. But at this point, they don't have a whole lot to deal with this. And more shield bots coming in. Just a flood of shield bots coming in from Aquanim. Helps recharge the shields and generally adds the firepower. And also adds the ability to build more lotuses. To build them closer. And Aquanim moving in even more and more for the kill. Even more and more for the kill. Aquanim is going to be able to deal quite a lot of damage here. 
Spotted Pug, on the other hand, they have their commander. Their commander is unupgraded. They have some repair going on, but ripping apart the sides. Can Spotted Pug get out of this? I don't know. I mean, maybe. They are quite a powerful player, but even then, between all the Lotuses being built up up front, I think this might be a very quick game. And Spotted Pug's commander about to go down. Is it going to go down? It just about gets... Oh, ow, almost got away. The Thug took it out at the last second, but it almost got out of the range of the Lotus. Were it not for the Thug, it would have been it, but at this point, there's not much. That boy being the only thing trying to help out. And Aquadim, I think they won with that rush. I think that rush did it for them. Yeah, nothing else is really being built up from the looks of it. There is this one caretaker being built over in the northwest side of the map. And Spider Pluck right now, not that far behind in terms of metal. But they don't have a whole lot of build power. They need to get this caretaker up. Looks like they're going to go for the caretaker and then go for a hidden factory. At this point, Aquanum is not going for anything, but they do have a large army. But they're focusing on just tearing apart the base. But at this point, having the factory in the water, that would help out a lot, because that would mean that couldn't be rushed by shields, for one thing. Now, is Spider going to go for that, or is Spider just going to throw in the towel? As Aquanum sets up a caretaker to reclaim this entire area and get all of their metal that way. And they are indeed going for an amphib plant underwater. So we'll see how that goes from there. The underwater amphib plant's a great idea. It does mean that they can't be rushed. But at the same time, it's going to be hard for them to get on land. I mean, from there they can go around back, tear apart this factory, tear apart all these metal extractors, and at least destroy some of the metal... But that's about all they can really do. And I think Aquanum is aware what's... Is Aquanum aware what's going on? Yes, they have radar. They know there are metal extractors in the water. They know that Spotterbook has decided to get out of the way. Build up underwater and very nearly got that amphib plant done. The amphib plant is indeed done. And it is going to be building up... Nothing? Gotta build up something. So at this point, Aquanum hasn't really got a whole lot they can use to deal with this. They can, of course, use the caretaker to build up another factory. And then go down from there go down to the water from that factory, but I don't see them doing that at all. Oh, there they are. Never mind. I'm completely wrong. There's the amphibian plant right there. And Spatterbluck not building any units yet. Having just lost the two metal extractors, they actually don't have a whole lot of metal left. I guess they're just trying desperately to defend this one area. Why they're not building urchins is beyond me, because that would be the better thing to do right now. The stinger is not anywhere near as efficient as the urchins would be. And the Amphib Plant, not even close to done. 30 seconds left before Aquanum's Amphib Plant is done, and Aquanum running out of energy to build it with. Becoming a bit of a problem. They can't easily build up, but at the same time, not a whole lot coming out of Spotterplug at this point. Nothing, actually, coming out of Spotterplug at this point. Which naturally presents a bit of a problem. On the other hand, the Stinger, I can see the... Okay, I can see why they went for a Stinger. They wanted to keep it so that the Thugs cannot destroy these Metal Extractors... Again. Because that was really annoying. Losing the metal extractor to those thugs is not something that I'm sure that Aquanum or Svatopluk really wanted to have happen. But at the same time, they are they going to have a range? Might. Oh, the thug can attack just out of range. Just out of range of the stinger. This metal extractor might be safe. Let's see. Oof. I don't think so. I think that's still threatened. But we see a scallop coming up, and that is going to at least be able to build up, be built up fairly quickly. But now, boys coming in. The one downside being the boys can't actually attack from underwater, while the scallops certainly can. But that's still probably going to be fine. How it's going to be dealt with, I don't know. Lotus is coming up in a decent position, but that thug should be able to deal with it without too much issue. The thug is coming around to try to deal with this. And it's not able to do so? What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, there we go. Now it can. Gets into a position where it's actually able to deal with this. But even with that, the scout coming in, helping get rid of the thugs. Lotus doing a bit of damage. If these thugs can go down, I mean, that's one fewer unit to deal with when it comes to the metal extractors. And yes, the thugs indeed do go down. One of the thugs getting very quickly hit. And the other one, Scallop getting inside both the shields, takes out the thug, takes out the convict, and that is that one battle down. Now these boys are going to be the big problem. They're being built up fairly quickly. Spatterbluck has far less in the way of economy than Aquanum does. And hardly any units to harass with. So they can't just go around the back and harass here. 
but they can at least deal with these boys when the scallops are underwater, which is much to the scallops' advantage. The boys cannot deal with scallops. Ah, but this worker is above water. Not easily hit, but still above water. That's still a bit of a problem. Ah, and the scallop... The scallop in a good position, but still not strong enough, and gets torn to shreds by the boys. Yeah, it's a skirmisher, but you gotta be careful about that. Skirmishers... They... They don't necessarily just beat riots because they're at range. Boys slow them down. That's a huge deal. They also deal a huge amount of damage. So, range aside, boys are just powerful. An Aquadim setting Faraday, setting up a lot of static defense around here, actually. Yeah. yeah, decent. Okay, most of this was the assault static defense, so the static offense. Their main base, however, is super vulnerable. Like, attacking that, if that scallop can get there and attack it, that's going to be a big deal. Or if you ducks can get there and attack it, that's going to be an even bigger deal. Oh yeah, one problem to point out is, of course, amphibs heal when underwater. Or when in water at all. So it's rather difficult to win with one scallop against three boys. Or at least to chase them away. Now, with more and more scallops, that'll help. But on top of that, I mean, ducks now coming in, that makes it even harder. The duck coming in is going to be a problem. Svatoplik sending up Gauss as well to deal with underwater directly. And Scallops coming in from Aquanum, because why not? But I think the duck's going to be a bit of a bigger deal. However, ooh, gets rid of the radar. Nice shot. Svatoplik now totally in the dark. And granted, that radar was probably not in the best position. It probably didn't give them that much vision. But still, even less information when they're already in a corner. They're already basically trapped. They have one metal extractor and that's it. They're almost completely relying on overdrive. That is painful. At this point, they only have the two scallops. I don't know how they expect to get out of this. i got to be quite honest. I don't know what they're expecting to do to actually win this. I'm... I'm definitely impressed by their tenacity. I just don't know what options they really have. Caretaker repair is a good one, though. That's a wise thing to do. That's only one scallop, though? No, there's two. The ducks coming in, that should be a... Oh, actually, no, never mind. Scallops are better than ducks underwater than I had originally thought. Okay, never mind. Those ducks don't have as good of a chance as I had initially expected. Stinger, however, is going to get disarmed, allowing the boys to just rush in, tear apart everything, and that'll probably be game. Scallops doing what they can to get rid of the boys, but that's only so much. The two scalps along against half a dozen boys, that's basically... That's game. That That's game. Spatterbook throws in the towel, realizes it surrenders. We're going to move on to another match between the two of these. Players on... Looks like it was played pretty soon after, too. On Tombstone Desert. Once again, Spatterbook and Aquanum, this time on Tombstone Desert. That'll be up in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. And that game was certainly more one-sided than I thought, but good job, Spatterbook, for being... Or at least having some idea of what to do. Just might have been a, maybe do it faster or harass a bit more. But I don't know. That's really hard to do. That that position is almost impossible to win from. Okay. Next game in a moment.